A judge is fast-tracking a lawsuit over Utah's ban on transgender children playing school sports that match their gender identity. A hearing was held today. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow is on Utah's Capitol Hill with the latest. The judge set a series of deadlines to help him decide the lawsuit. Three transgender children who are student athletes in Utah schools are suing, arguing that the state's ban is unconstitutional and discriminatory. The judge will first hear a motion in August by the Utah Attorney General's office to dismiss the lawsuit. But if the state loses that, well, then the judge will hold a hearing the very next day on whether to grant the plaintiff's request for an injunction, blocking Utah's new law from being enforced. The Attorney General's office told the judge it does not intend to call the children to testify, even if the hearing were to be sealed to protect their identities. But there is a dispute over access to the children's medical records related to their transition that led to some discussion in today's conference call. If we can't get the information about how tall you know, the, the plaintiffs are, for example, and what their wingspan are, is then we would um, you know, seek to obtain that information perhaps through calling into the witness stand and bringing a tape measure. We don't okay. anticipate the need for live testimony, but if the, if the defendants aren't going, are going to you know, resist handing over information about how tall somebody is, and that doesn't bode well for our ability to, um, you know, to get the information we need in order to describe competitive advantages in swimming and volleyball. And it's not just a, a categorical ban, as they describe it. They're not just bringing a facial challenge. They've also brought as applied challenges. So a competitive advantage that these individuals have vis-a-vis -vis cisgender girls is clearly relevant and information that really I'm not understanding why they're fighting against. Perhaps they won't. I, we just fundamentally disagree that, that those things are relevant, and that's what I was trying to hint at before. But, you know, we're going to, for reasons that we're happy to explain to the court when, when we get together, I, this it is a categorical ban, and competitive advantage or non-competitive advantage just doesn't matter. Again, those hearings will take place in August. You'll recall the legislature banned transgender children from playing school sports that match their gender identity earlier this year. The new law goes into effect later this week. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.